Hey guys, how's it going? It's Flux here. Welcome to the first episode of Rhinestone Island. Now, as you may have seen, or may not have seen if you skipped it, which is no big deal, uh, that was a pretty large time lapse. Took a long time to get all this stuff done. Um, and for good reason, I wanted to have a really good solid baseline down with uh, our utilities kind of figured out. And the transportation kind of started at least. And, uh, and of course, the unique buildings for our skyline. Uh, at least a few of them put down so we know what we're doing. Uh, so this is the result as of now. Um, and if you did skip it, it's not a big deal. I'm going to kind of explain now uh, exactly what I did and, and why I did it. So uh, to start off, we have our little utility island down this way. I kind of envisioned this as being a utility island whenever I built this map. So uh, I'm kind of feeling like this is going to work pretty well. We have uh, just a little water plant area over here. We have like the water being collected on this side. We've got the nuclear power plant over on this side. Uh, I have two little incinerators just so we can kind of handle this and the trash over here on our uh, waste management facility down over on this side. You can see they're going over now to kind of handle that. Um, and I'm just kind of scattering these little water pumps all around this island. I'm going to try and do that, uh, you know, around here, maybe even over on this side on these little islands as well. Uh, a little bit of power over here as well. This is mainly just to jumpstart and, uh, and and keep the, the water functioning because, of course, um, there could definitely be fires down here, which would be pretty devastating. I do have a little fire department down this way, but as you know, when these things catch on fire, it's kind of annoying because all your power goes away for a while, and we need to be able to at least have water so that we can, you know, keep functioning as a city so this is kind of like the backup power over here and it works pretty well because i think it's actually in a pretty good location let me check again and see if that's true or not yeah pretty good uh could be better but not too bad actually i think it is pretty much the the highest level isn't it is it max eight watts eight megawatts yeah max eight megawatts so this is a pretty good spot for that but anyway so that's the utility island. It is, and, and I should say this about pretty much everything right now. Um, it's all very, very baseline. Like I just wanted to get it all done and uh, and and have it ready for expanding upon. So we're gonna do lots of work on this island in particular to make it look nice and cool. And same thing with pretty much everything else that I've built so far. Uh, but this is just like the baseline, the uh, the template for the rest of our city. So don't mind that stuff. But anyway, moving on to the actual city itself. Um, I, you, you may have seen this if you watched my live streams, but I'm really, really trying to emphasize the public transportation in this city. So the first big thing that I wanted to do is have the train that comes straight along here, along the highway over here, uh, in this nice little sunken highway. And then you know, the train actually moves in, it splits off in a little underground interchange down here, uh, over to a little passenger section over here. And then also a cargo section down this way. Now I, I can't actually remember exactly how I handled this. I might not have actually connected this one yet. Okay, I didn't. So uh, we're gonna need to have a separate connection for the passenger trains, which is gonna happen a bit later on. But um, the reason why I focus so heavily on the cargo trains is I have these little modules. I have one here, I have one over here. We're gonna have more, probably one down here somewhere in the future. And of course, uh, you know, further down the island and all that stuff. But uh, the idea is to keep all of our cargo trucks off the main highways, or at least the majority of them, and free those up for all of our citizens that are just trying to get around town. That way we don't have big traffic jams due to all the cargo. So I figured instead of doing one big cargo facility like I did in Fluxburg, I'd do a bunch of smaller ones that use kind of the same principle. So while it looks like a pretty simple design here, um, maybe not so much with this little interchange, but... Um, uh, what's actually happening is we have a pretty massive underground road network going on over here and this just distributes all the cargo trucks as well as some of the uh, the citizen traffic uh, all throughout the city over here so this is a very like shotgun approach to exp uh, just like i don't know getting all the the traffic um sorted and and split across the city so i've done this in the past and it usually works pretty well we'll see um i tried it in flux vegas if you watch that on twitch um, and it, it, it kind of worked for a while, but as we all soon found out, um, these roads, they, they can be pretty effective for just like, you know, having nice little splits if you have like light loads of traffic coming in. But when you start getting too much traffic on individual entry points, then you start getting some, some problems later down the road that are much harder to solve than simple entry on this side. Um, using this method, as you can see here, where you just have like a straight highway that comes into an avenue. It's much easier to troubleshoot problems like this because you can just go ahead and, you know, make a split and have new entrances and stuff like that. But when you do something like this, you're kind of relying very heavily on the intelligence of your design 
from the start. So um, I guess this is more or less an experiment as well as just being the base design of my uh, road network. So I think it's gonna work pretty well. I'm actually, um, this is a refined version of what I tried to do in Flux Vegas. So if you saw Flux Vegas, um, this is gonna be hopefully better than that. If you didn't, it's not a big deal. It's just that I, I tried this similar approach in Flux Vegas. So uh, yeah, and then this is also just a, uh, a citizen um, sorting system. <laughs> so an interchange basically, but yes, this is, this is one of what's going to be many interchanges along this highway. Um, I just wanted to get the first one down that, uh, kind of goes off in these directions over here into this little part of town. And then of course, I'm probably going to have at least one more, uh, maybe over here, over here, and, uh, possibly even more up here. Um, but I want to have lots of on and off ramps to give people plenty of options and hopefully relieve any stress on any one given point in the city, which is kind of my goal here. You can see I've got uh, a lot of things interconnected, which was uh, done on purpose to hopefully relieve stress in the traffic situation. So anyway, that's what we got so far for roads. And then uh, what else was I going to say? All right. So we have, we have the trains, right? We have a pretty good road network going on. We have the bus depots. I'm going to have one here, probably one over here as well. And um, depending on where the airport goes, probably some stuff down there, down the line. Um, but on top of that, I really, really want to put emphasis on having a really good metro system. So uh, you can see here I started a metro system. It's actually pretty easy to tell where it is because it's the ones with the, uh, the lack of power. But I've got a straight line going this way. I've got a branch that goes off in this direction. It's going to go up towards the main city over here. Probably going to have a little like loop around here and then go continuing this direction. We've got one going up here. It's going to go towards this part of town. And then I think this is going to be kind of like the main, uh, the main track that's going to connect to probably some more down this way. And then uh, we'll probably even go as far as to, as to bring some lines that go way down this way as well. But uh, I really think that these can be really, really effective if you use them right. And in the past, I've pretty much always used them wrong. I've always just like, I mean, it's not really wrong, but I've always just made little loops and things. And I think that by doing... Uh, the branch approach so having like a main a main road or a main i guess it's not really a road a main track um, and then maybe making some branches in different spots and then having different color lines that move from like central locations on those on these like big branches um is a pretty good way of doing it and it's also really really easy to build off something like this we can always add new lines that kind of split off this way and then just have lots of different color-coded lines and uh, instead of having one big loop line which ends in everyone just waiting for a super long time so this should be better and we're going to see how it goes it's, it's actually really easy to change these sorts of things metros aren't too hard to uh, redo because they're all underground so you're not going to worry about you know messing up road networks or whatever so yeah, that's the public transportation so far. We've got a pretty good system going. I'm pretty excited to see how it handles uh, all the traffic when we start getting speed moving in here. Uh, I've got a little kind of incinerator plant section over here as well. You can see um, it's not very easy to tell because there's lots of underground stuff going on here, but it's basically just um, an entry point from both sides going in and it actually splits here and goes in like this and then an exit point on both sides as well. So very simple little on off ramp situation going on here. And, uh, and this is just going to be probably one of many of these. I'm not going to try and do what I did last time in Fluxburg and make like a gigantic incinerator plant because then you just have like a billion trash trucks all going out the same roads and it gets really chaotic really fast. So I kind of like the elegant design of this one. It's pretty simple, pretty small. And I'll try and do things like this probably throughout, uh, the highway in different locations. But anyway, that's enough explaining for now. Um, you kind of get the gist of what's going on here. We've got lots of really cool buildings here that I think are going to look awesome for our skyline when we start getting some bigger buildings as well. And I did put down just like the big ones, the tall ones that were going to be kind of defining our skyline. But I have a lot of really cool, unique buildings that are going to be coming in uh, pretty soon here. Lots of uh, different things we can use and uh, even, you know, all this stuff like the specialization stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. Also, we've got a ton of new casinos that are going to go in over here on this side. Uh, along this beach area. So I'm excited about that as well. But enough talk. We are, I think, just about at the point where we can start zoning. Um, I've got a connection over here down to the main uh, road coming in. We have a, a rail connection. This is actually the only rail connection in the entire map. So what we're going to have to do is probably make some splitting uh, somewhere around here, maybe like a big juncture somewhere uh, or a junction. Junction? That's the right word, right? Uh, I don't know, rail interchange. 
where we'll have uh, some sorting going on. We'll have some rails that go in different directions as well. But for now, we've got the single rail that goes out over here and connects to all this stuff. And then we'll come over and connect to this one as well later down the road. But yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's about time that well, first of all, we should probably get this one connected. Now I don't. I think the only thing that needs to be yeah, the only thing that we really need um, cars coming in for is the prison. So I think for now, I think for now we're okay if we just don't connect this and then connect it when we get closer to this. And that's that's like one of of hopefully many prisons. I'm not gonna just have like one single prison for the entire thing, but I think that was kind of a cool spot for it. So that one down over there but yeah so i guess we're good then let's go ahead and start zoning so oh yeah one more thing to note and this is kind of more of a note to myself than anything but i do have one disconnected piece of road over here this is actually going to be um one of i think three exit points for this interchange so i have i think i had three entry and three exit exits that are all individual and separate so you take a separate exit for each one and then they all go to different um, parts of this kind of whole area over here. So the idea behind that is just not to have a bunch of traffic going into one exit lane. They'll all be splitting and, and doing things like that. And I didn't get this last one done mostly because we had this area covered pretty well and I'm going to end up probably using this one over here somewhere. So note to self, don't forget about that one. Oh, but I do think that we do need to worry about this. So uh, I have the entry area for all of our uh, all of our cargo so when the cargo comes in over here on the train they can hop off this train go down here and then uh, you know split in their whatever directions and get into the town that way or the city that way but we do need a way um, to get back here again and I'm trying to think of, of exactly what I was imagining was gonna happen here uh, I know there's a lot of tunnels to deal with right now so it's kind of hard to figure this out but um, I believe what we really want to do is just connect to maybe an exit, one of these exits off the highway. Let's see. So this one comes from the right side. I have a few coming from the left side as well. And I think they all stay separate, actually, which is interesting. I don't think I really merge a whole lot of these together. Oh, yeah, here's one. This is an exit, though, isn't it? Oh, it is. Okay. We need an entrance that we can merge this onto. Hmm. All right, let me, uh, I think I'm gonna handle this one off camera real quick uh, because I, I don't really remember exactly how I was gonna do this prior to uh, building this interchange. So I will figure this out and I'll come back with the results. All right, we're back. Uh, I just wanted to kind of figure that out, um, but I did get a solution to this little problem here. Uh, I decided not to connect it back to the uh, the highways for well, mostly because we decided already we didn't want to have any or at least uh, a minimal number of cargo trucks on the highways. So uh, I decided to have an entry point from this side over here and then uh, also one down over here on this side. And I think that uh, between these two, at least because this is supposed to mainly only service uh, this kind of general area, this should be a pretty good spread and I think that should work just fine. Um, and then of course this one's gonna handle maybe some stuff over here and then down over onto this side. And we'll probably have one more down here somewhere that's gonna handle the rest of this. And I think that between that and then the highway system, we should be pretty good on uh, on getting cargo in and out of the city. So anyway, enough of that. So now that we have that sorted out, we can start working on everything else. I think that the best way to do this is to start zoning over here on this side, kind of near all of our, uh, our initial facilities and, and of course our interchange over here. I'll probably move my way uh, towards this area over here and of course uh, the back section of the city later on but I think for now we should just start over here and we'll work our way over towards the skyline. So uh, why don't we just start with some zoning. Obviously we are we are pretty far into the red right now which is to be expected. Um, I also have lots of places where we can have uh, we can have utilities so we need I think uh, medical, we still need fire and police so all that stuff and of course schools as well is another thing we need to worry about so um, and in fact we'll probably try and get schools as soon as possible so we can just get going on that that's going to be pretty critical later on so uh, currently we have power going here and also to the incinerators down this way so that's our only real source of power so why don't we try to keep this pretty close to 
our power grid currently, which means we should probably just start by zoning this area over here. And I think I'm just gonna dive straight on in with high density um, residential. Not really any reason to use anything else currently anyway. I think, like I said, this is all gonna be pretty high density. That's the plan anyway. So let me make sure I can get power this way. I actually think we're gonna need to have a little power jump here, if that's possible. I need a pretty tall power line, that's for sure. Wow, is that gonna, wow, really? Okay, I'll take that, that's, that's cool. You just do, in fact, I wonder if I could, <laughs> if I could do a shorter one than that. Oh, I can, all right, good. So there's the uh, the power connection. Oh, is that not close enough? Oh, it's not, okay, I'll just go to there then. Kinda weird, but whatever. So there's the power for those. That should do it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just like dive straight on into getting some, that's the university? What is, yeah, okay. Uh, getting some education in here because that's gonna be pretty critical later on. Um, I actually kinda like the spot for a university because we kinda get that corner space usage going on. Maybe, uh, or I mean a high school, not a university. Uh, and then for the elementary school, probably right here is not a bad spot. All right, good. And we'll try to put a few of these down in different spots here. Find some more ideal locations for that. Uh, probably back here. Again, just trying to use the space because this is like one extra tile. Um, yeah, I think this is a good idea. All right, we'll go with that. We do have quite a bit of space here, but that'll probably lead to, uh, I think I'm gonna have like a smaller skyline, like right here, because this feels like, to me, another centerpiece for uh, for our city. In fact, you know, it, it kind of almost feels like the main part of the city, even more so than this. I almost wanna, hmm. Yeah, you know what, I think, I think this isn't the right spot to put the main part of the city. I think that this makes a lot more sense because you can see a lot of avenues kind of converge on this point right here. So I think it would make a lot of sense to put these buildings over here. So, okay, six people. I was like, why Why do we have people already? Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? I think, I think we'll try this. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and redo this. Then we can do it live, too. I, I did this uh, during a live stream recently. You may have caught it, maybe not. Um, it was just me finishing up all of the uh, the work we were doing on the infrastructure and stuff, and I didn't want to just do it by myself, so I figured I'd stream it for a bit. But uh, that was kind of just like an experimental thing. But, but you know, yeah, the more I think about it, the more this makes sense to be the location of our main city. So... How about we go back now and take a look at some of our big buildings we were going to put down here. Uh, this is one of them, but I think one of the biggest ones was uh, the the bank. The uh, Bank of America, I think. And I'm pretty sure it's actually a real building in Dallas. It's got like the big green LEDs. Let's see if I can find it now. I think it was... That's not it. Um, oh, you know what? I think it was here. Yeah, here we go. The Bank of America. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so this one to me really does seem like the main building. So why don't we put this one down? Let's see. This is actually kind of a cool corner, I think, but it's also a bit further away. I want this to be sort of towards the middle of the skyline. So maybe here or here. Yeah, let's do... I think I want it to face this way. So we'll do that. There we go. One of many. But I got some really, really cool. This one I think is, is probably actually one of the coolest skyscrapers that I downloaded. I think it looks really, really cool. I'll show you guys what it looks like here if I can get a, a good spot for it. Actually, I'll just put it down so you can see what it looks like. But I don't know. I just love the way this is modeled. I don't know who made this, but it looks really, really good. Like this, this cool looking roof thing and some really cool stuff going on in the workshop right now so definitely a, an awesome time to get new assets that's for sure this one's really cool as well all right so uh yeah this is a pretty tall one let's go ahead and put this one down next that's a pretty good spot 
Let's see. I want to offset this a tiny bit if we can. Let's see. Actually, that, that wasn't a bad spot right there. I think that's good. Like that. Right across the street from this one. Two of the tallest buildings in the skyline. Awesome. This one's kind of interesting. This is, uh, I think, yeah, Gula made this one. And you actually need to do something to unlock it, which I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that until now. Um, yeah, I guess you need to zone a lot of industrial to get that one, which is kind of cool. But that's interesting. All right, so we got quite a few over here. Actually, the, uh, the yeah, the Canadian building is, is also really, really tall. So we might have to plan this one accordingly. And I think this is a good, this is a good location as well, because this is, uh, kind of blocked. I don't know. There's not a lot of big buildings that can zone right here because it's only like three by four. So I think putting it over here would be smart. Also, there's lots of empty space. So let's go ahead and do that. That's actually one of the tallest buildings now in the, the skyline. All right. Um, yeah, a lot of these aren't actually that tall, but this one, this one's pretty big. It's pretty narrow too, so I'll, I'll save it for a bit later. We'll get the biggest ones down first. Is they're a bit harder to uh, plan for. Did I not put this one down before? I don't think I did. It looks kind of cool, though. It's also pretty small. I'm not going to put it down quite yet, but it looks cool. Uh, the com oh, the Comcast Center is gigantic. In fact, it might be... Yeah, it's almost... It's about the same height as the Canadian building, so I'm going to put it maybe somewhere... Wow, that would work. I was going to say maybe somewhere... Uh, on the other side of the skyline. And again, yeah, this would work, but it's, hmm. Ooh, that's perfect, let's do that. Nice, it's kinda got its own block now. The Comcast Center. All right, so we're, we're starting to get a line here. Let's try and space it out a bit. And yeah, also keep in mind, this is just like the biggest building. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna have zoning, we're gonna have smaller buildings surrounding it. So the idea is we're just putting down the biggest ones first and then moving out from there. So while it may look a bit weird right now, it should look much better pretty soon here. Let me start zoning and everything. Oh, you know what? I think I need to make sure that we're getting everything we need here. I don't think I, I got some of my utilities that I needed down yet. Also commercial. I'm gonna zone some commercial over here since this is kind of like I don't know. It's a bit. It's a bit closer to all this stuff, which makes me also think. I think I'm gonna move this. I don't think this is actually a good spot anymore. It would have been great if we didn't have our skyline over here, but now that we're gonna move it over here, probably don't want to have a random high school and elementary school like right next to this giant complex that's also near the uh, the skyline over here. So we'll let that be. But I'm just gonna go ahead and zone all this stuff. Same over here. Let that stuff start moving in. Awesome. All right. Yeah, I think services wise we're doing okay. Let's put a few. I'll, actually, I'll worry about. Yeah, I'll worry about it in a minute. Let's just get the buildings down first because they're they're gonna take precedence. We got this one, the one Liberty Place. Well, actually, it looks kind of cool there. It'd be nice to get it on this inside corner. We could fit it somewhere. I think that looks pretty good, actually. I'm liking that we have this big curved road to work with, so we're gonna get a bit more diversity in the angles we got with these buildings, which is good. It's pretty easy to fall into the trap of just making a big grid and then putting them all in the same angle and it looks kind of bland. So I think this is a good solution to that. <clears throat> okay, so none of those. We already got the Comcast Center down. Right, that's a pretty tall one there. Okay, I don't think I got this one yet. Yeah, this is the one that uh, I don't think I put down last time either. It's also pretty small, so we could definitely try and fit it somewhere. Whoa, would that look good or weird? Oh, actually, I think it looks pretty good. 
the way the building is shaped kind of fits that area, I think. And it looks really cool, actually. I kind of like that. It's a different color than everything else. This is probably one of my favorite assets, though, this one right here. I don't know, I just think that the, the color palette and the textures, they did a good job making it look nice and clean, like a big skyscraper. Some of these, they get a little bit lazy sometimes with the, uh, the texturing. This is an example of it. Um, not to like, you know, but yeah. So I think a lot of these, especially this building here, looks really, really good. All right. So the Comcast Center, they got that one down. That's all for the tall ones. Chase Manhattan building. Okay. We'll probably have to handle that one in a minute, but anything else? I don't see any other gigantic buildings. Maybe here. Oh yeah, we didn't get this building yet, did we? Okay, good. And this one's actually not ridiculously tall, and it would make sense to put it somewhere kind of further away from the skyline if we wanted to, but I think the best spot's going to be somewhere over here. Is that a school? What is that? Is that a high school? Oh yeah, it's a high school. Alright, we still don't have schooling going on because we don't have any power going this way. Um, oh, I want to put it here, actually. Oh, I didn't think of this sooner. But I definitely want to have this one right there. That's a cool spot for it. And we're going to get some much taller buildings pretty soon here. There's that one. And then, let's see. Oh, yeah. This cheese grater building is actually kind of hard to place. It's pretty big. It's bigger than this one, even. So, this will be interesting. Wow. I don't mean to put them all in the same angle here, but it seems like this is a pretty good location. Um, let's see. Alright, you know what? Well, this high school's going to have to go. It doesn't really, doesn't really have to be there anyway. This is good for being unintrusive. It's a pretty good location for it. Okay, I think I might just go with that for the cheese grater building. Alright, awesome. So far, so good. We already got this one, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Uh, this one's weird. This is like one of the only buildings I've seen that's a free place. You can like rotate it and place it wherever you want. I've never seen that before anywhere else. I mean, obviously in like these assets, but not, not in a unique building. I didn't even know you could do that in unique buildings, but... That's cool. Not opposed to that at all. Let's get this uh, Manhattan building in then. Maybe up here somewhere. Um, yeah, so we don't block anything. This is probably good. How's that look? All right, perfect. Got that, and there's some more narrow buildings that might fit here pretty well. This one is just small in general. Same with this one. This one looks kind of weird, actually. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the city or not. Just put that one down. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this building. It's another flat one, so I don't know if it looks great if we do it the same angle as everything else, but... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd prefer it to be at an angle, a little bit at least. Like that, maybe? Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So I don't know if anything's going to fit in here besides just standard zoning, which is actually okay. I mean, we can just zone this. We'll get some skyscrapers in here and it'll look pretty natural. Fill in the blanks. I think this is a pretty big building. Oh yeah, this is a pretty good sized building. In fact, this fits pretty well right here. Should we go for that, or should we try and cover some more space down this way? So now we have a lot of unused space. This is a good um, building to kind of make the skyline blend in with the rest of the buildings, so I might save that one for a little bit. Same with this Renaissance Tower. Actually, a lot of buildings that I'm not putting down now will help with that quite a bit. It's definitely easier to start with the tallest buildings. This one is just like unreal, like it's huge. It's I've never found an instance where that would make sense to use. I don't know. It's a cool looking building, but 
It's a little bit too space agey for me, I think. Anyway, I think we're actually approaching. Yeah, we're we're gonna, we're starting to get to like the smaller ones now, so I might have to just go with that building that we had earlier. Hang on, let me find it. Yeah, I think this is fine then as a location for that. Yep, that's good. Yeah, I, I like this location as the uh, the main part of the city much better. I think this makes a lot more sense. Everything kind of converges on this point right here. And it's also kind of like in the center of this big arc, which I think is cool. So, much better. Man, that looks really, really cool. I can't wait to see these at night, too. Uh, I haven't even seen them with the lights on at night yet, because I, I think when I put them down, they didn't have power yet. So, still haven't seen that. I'm gonna hit play here. Oh, actually no, I'm gonna keep it paused because I wanna I wanna get some education going like almost immediately, and I don't want to worry about it quite yet. Until we get some more of these buildings down. Alright, well now we can start looking for smaller buildings, so I won't be so picky about the building size. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Is that the Prudent Center? Oh, Prudential Center in Boston. Okay. Ooh, this is good. That's perfect, actually. Ooh, right there. Awesome. And then... Let's see. This is a, definitely like a corner building. I don't really see any places anywhere around here that would work well for that for now, but we'll, we'll get to it later. It's good to save some skyscrapers for different parts of the city as well. For later on. We've also got some pretty big buildings that are going to go in later. Yeah, I already got that one down. I just want to make sure. All right, that's good. So we have the Renaissance Tower still. This is actually a pretty reasonably sized building. So I might save that one as well. All right. This is a nice narrow building that fits pretty well. There's a little filler. Let's see. Where do we need it? Maybe in here. Oh yeah, right here. This is good. That's perfect. Nothing big was going to grow there because of the weird way that we that we made these roads. They're a bit too close together for the diagonal, so this spot's going to be kind of messed up as well. I've actually got some pretty cool buildings. This one's this one's really cool. It's not even a big building. It's just like unique. I got a few like that. There's the All right, some more relatively small buildings that can go in later. I think we're we pretty much got everything we wanted for skyscrapers anyway, at least for now. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm liking the way this is looking. Uh, I'll continue to zone now. We can start worrying about the high schools and all that stuff now. This is a good time to think about that. Um, yeah, I might let some skyscrapers grow in here instead. But, uh, let's see, high school, high school. Maybe out here a little ways? I don't want to block any skyscrapers from moving in, like, immediately next to all this stuff. So maybe... Wow, really? <laughs> I can put it there? Are you serious? Oh, okay. I don't, I don't really think I should. How does it look? Hmm. Um... Oh, hang on a minute. Let me see if I can... I think it's just because I terraformed this kind of weird. I could have done something more like this and it would have looked fine. Alright, well, we'll do that and then I'll put down the elementary school over here on this side. And we'll be good to go. Awesome. So there's two schools there. We'll get some skyscrapers in on this side. Get a few more schools in. Maybe over here somewhere. Yeah, this is not a good spot. Uh, that's a little close to this, actually. For an elementary school, that's fine, though. The high schools, we don't need as many. So I'll put one down. That's funny. I almost, I think I might just put them back here. Yeah. That's not bad. Because I don't want to have any skyscrapers, like, immediately next to this. I might have some, like, lower buildings, low-profile buildings over here. So we've got the high school, elementary school combo right there. And then... Let's see. Anything else? We got... Two high schools, three elementary schools. That's pretty good for now. 
yeah, all right, that's that's pretty good for now. I think I'm gonna leave that how it is, and then we'll we'll come back to the school stuff later. All right, so we definitely need a police station. I'm surprised all this stuff says it's covered. There's not even any police stations anywhere. I don't know why. It seems like crime's just like pretty easy to control in this game. I don't know. Even with the update, it didn't really seem like it did all that much to make crime really hard to control. It's still like relatively easy to do. I don't know. It's not too bad. Though the fire, on the other hand, is actually kind of difficult to manage. So let's see if we can do that. I definitely want to have a few on the main avenues. That's going to be critical. Let's try and keep it away from the uh, entry and exit points if we can. I like to make use of these spaces that aren't going to get anything anyway. They're going to get like, really weird buildings growing in them. So like, all right, this is perfect right here. So nothing's going to grow there anyway. So now we got that. We need one on this side for sure. Yeah, I'll just put it next to the uh, the high school. That's fine. So now we got two. Maybe one more then. Yeah, let's make use of these other weird zoned areas. Yeah, that's good. Alright, awesome. So there's the start of the city then. Can it play again? Even fast forward. And this is the best part. We're not using T++ anymore like I did in Fluxburg. So as you can see, I can go to the, the full speed ahead and it doesn't like glitch out and not actually go up in speed, which is awesome. I'm really excited to see what this all looks like at night, actually. I'm going to start zoning some more so we can see it when the uh, the time changes here. Uh, yeah, let's try and get some of this high-density commercial moving in uh, near the big buildings, because that kind of makes sense, I think. Maybe a few residential buildings as well. I want to try and transfer this electricity, though. Oh, good, we got it. All right, we're connected now. We're good to go. Already seeing lots of cars coming in now. Looks like so far so good. So obviously we're gonna need workers for a while. Uh, we're gonna have a pretty weird imbalance. This always happens if you start out by zoning high density like I'm doing right now. Uh, it'll probably take a good couple in game years, maybe even some more than that, uh, just to get all the stuff balanced out. So once our education goes up right now, I think it's like 0%. Yeah, we have like 2% educated and nobody well educated or highly educated yet. So. Just a waiting game, so I think I'm going to run this uh, for a little while. I'm probably going to zone some more too off camera and just kind of get this going so we can see how it looks next episode. But I got to say, I'm really, really happy with the way the skyline turned out. I think it actually looks much better than the first skyline did. And I'm really excited to see how it all looks when we get some really cool, unique buildings going on here. We got uh, some really, really cool ones, actually. Let me see if I can find the one that I'm thinking of uh, in particular. The uh, It's like the Tyson... Uh, Hang on. Tyson, uh, Sagan Tyson Center for Space, which I think looks super cool, by the way, especially at night. So this is one of those that's probably going to go in somewhere where we have extra space. Like, oh, wow, right there, maybe. Should we just go for it? I think it'll look really cool there. Oh, yeah, that was a great decision. Okay, perfect. So now I've got this over here, but there's some really, really cool buildings we still have to put down. So definitely look forward to that in the future. But that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.